Um, yeah. But how's it going? It's going <laughs> fine. I'm doing laundry right now. Um, we got a we got a uh, a billboard and some other stuff going on. So I was gonna go like scope those things out after this. Um, Otto just left. I think he's gonna get Chipotle. Uh, yeah. It's weird. It feels like it, it like it, it keeps fluctuating between feeling like the dopest day and like a bunch of relief. And I'm just like, oh, thank God. And then also just like the most normal day, just with like more people telling me good <laughs> job. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, but congratulations. It's your release day. Thank it's you. Great... Um, I mean, I have a bunch of questions for you, but like. I think like halfway through we'll open it up to some fan questions because I'm sure they have some really cool ones as well. You uh, think so? They usually just ask me weird stuff. <laughs> I mean, weird is they, cool. <laughs> they want pictures of my hands. <laughs> I mean, totally your call. We could just talk. To oh, no, 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 no. We'll bring them in. We'll bring them in. It's fine. Let me drink more of this coffee here. Hang on. Sure. Okay. I know it's not morning, but it feels like it. Hmm. Hmm. Um, well, oh, whoops. Hmm? Hold on. Sorry. I just uh, accidentally. There we go. What happened? Sorry, I was trying to. <laughs> I'm you sorry. You told me you were an expert at this app. No, <laughs> I've been duped and deceived. So if we click on one of these people, they start talking. Is that how this works? Yeah, I was okay. trying to mute everyone without muting you. Oh. And I failed at that. I don't really no. know. No, there's no such uh, thing as failure. Okay, yeah. Um, I was trying to have everybody muted except for us. <laughs> it's not. Wait, working. okay. Okay. Hang on. I got muted twice now. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. You're, you're, we're good now. We're good now. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Beautiful. How's it going? Um, good. Uh, so, I guess to get started, um, why did you pick the name Greatest Hits for the record? Have you heard it? It's so good. Oh, no, I mean, also. Yes. <laughs> but, uh, <I> have. <laughs> oh, you have. Okay, good. I, I kind of was. I, okay, dope. Amazing. Thank you for doing that. Um, it's greatest hits for besides the obvious of like, oh my God, it's so good. And I want people online to be like kind of mad about that uh, <laughs> if they don't like it. <laughs> um, I like the idea of having. Or, like, basically doing a greatest hits for a bunch of eras and, like, albums that people never got. And that's why, you know, we have the multicolor thing going on. That's why we have, um, like, you know, the multiple fonts and the, the album logo. That's why, like, it's, it's, because normally our eras are kind of categorized by different color palettes. And um, this was a way of, like, Oh, it just, it, it felt, it felt right. And I've kind of always known this is what I wanted to do with this album. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, normally I feel like, you know, like artists that are late in their career do a great, or like have put out like several records, have a greatest hits album. So it's just interesting that you made that choice. Yeah, but we're still going up though. People like usually greatest hits isn't while people are like still going like up. Yeah. Greatest sure. hits is like when shit's kind of like, all right, you know, we've got we've got a couple houses, we're chilling, we all got like a couple kids and shit. Like we know way more about stocks than other people. Um, straight up though, I do want to live that life. Not the kids part, but like, I don't know, like, uh, like I just I want to be put on a boat. <laughs> I don't even want, like, here's the thing. Like, my dad likes fishing. I think fishing with him was, like, cool, like, when I was younger and stuff. I don't think I would go do it, like, without him. But just the option of being, like, I have a boat and I could go out there is, like, nice. I mean, that's kind of the dream, right? Mm. Absolutely. Now, 
uh, John, dude who takes a lot of our pictures, was telling me. Was it John, actually? Someone the other day was telling me how fun jet skis are. I've never done it, but um, kind of want to try that now. I mean, it's summer. You should. If you're listening and you have a jet ski, hit me up. <laughs> who wants to be friends? Um. I, I think what's interesting about this record is that you produced it. Um, co-produced, guess, co-produced. I co-produced. gotta give credit to Zach. But still, they, that's a cool step. Like, what made you want to get involved in the production process? Um, you know, I've always, like, I've, or I've been doing our demos and everything since, like, 2014. And, um, <clears throat> I mean, I've been getting better and better at it each time. And, like, every album like we've used more and more pieces of like you know what was in the original like homemade version and this time it just wound up being so much more than normal like it wound up being like half like some of the songs are just straight up like me and and so yeah I mean it just kind of made sense um and then also of course uh pandemic life uh studios are closed can't go anywhere on lockdown it's like well (laughs) <laughs> like I'm either gonna sit here and beat a lot of video games and watch a lot of movies or uh you know level up and also if I'm not working on something my brain turns on me <laughs> so uh kind of I think it had to happen yeah I, I mean I I deal with the <clears throat> same thing like I I feel like um I mean I guess this is a segue but there's like a lot of references to mental health on the record and yeah um I feel like as somebody who also struggles with mental health like being busy like having this empty space to fill um is really hard and like being busy kind of helps do that so the pandemic kind of put a shift in that totally um (laughs) I think I think it's it's weird because it's like it's like a pause or it's a mostly positive way to cope with that. You know what I mean? Like, because if, if you're, if I'm trying to think there, there's also like a side of that or a scenario where, you know, your, your brain won't let you do work. You know what I mean? And I've also gone through phases like that, but for the most part, I know that as long as like, I keep my brain moving and working on stuff, like things are better where, you know, if I, I'm like, oh man, I haven't worked on anything in like two days. Like ev- anything that's like bad or rough or whatever just is like amplified, you know? I a thousand percent understand that. <laughs> yeah. Um, with, I guess it's been, it was two years since Fandom came out. Like how did you approach making this record differently than Fandom? Let's see. There's a lot of ways. Also, you know what's really weird? I was just mm-hmm. thinking about this. Yes, yesterday um so fandom came out actually like a year and a half ago and then like our first album double dare like Mm -hmm. it feels like a lifetime ago it's not even five years because i was having a conversation about you know people doing like 10 year things and i was like dude double dare's not even halfway there (laughs) um oh my god but anyway the way i mean it's different in almost every way except for keeping like the same kind of team and people around, you know, um, mm-hmm. like it's I'm trying to give you more to start. Cause it's like just so much. Um, well, for one had a lot more time. <laughs> um, I think fandom, well, fandom started as a different album and then I scrapped a lot of it and, you know, re-recorded, for Zach with Zach Servini for the first time. And um, so, I mean, that kind of opened up that, I mean, I'd already, I, I had made a couple things with him in like late 2017, but uh, we didn't really like move forward on stuff except for, except for easy to hate. Um, we made easy to hate that song at the end of 2017. So literally even before, before entertainment was out, which is the whole timeline is just crazy. But um this time there was just like I think fandom had how many demos there was probably like maybe 30 or 40 songs for fandom and this album greatest hits had 108 <laughs> wow so 
there was a lot more time to really like try things and you know i'm not sitting here like ooh, we're gonna have to leave for a tour in like a month we need to finish this shit like right now blah 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 blah. like there wasn't any kind of like time restriction you know um so yeah a lot more time a lot more just experimenting a lot more like me just living with myself and like you know going outside and like even that made me like use certain like more sounds on the album like i'd record sounds at the beach sounds like if i go get coffee and i hear birds or some shit if it's raining if it's windy if you know whatever like all of that stuff made it to the album because like i think songs just feel better with like real life in them um so there was a lot more time to really like craft um those kinds of those kinds of energies i guess no, I mean, it's cool that you were able, I, were able to, like, also experiment with so much. Um, oh, yeah. I, I, a lot, I of, guess, lot of kitchenware. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess, like, how did you come up with some of the background noises on the record? Um, like, uh, what kind of inspired you? So, I I don't really know how it works exactly. but But a lot of times when I'm hearing a song... And, and Zach, he's always like laughing about it, but, um, we'll be like, alrighty, now it's time for this shit. But it's, it's, it's like a thing that you don't necessarily like turn on or off. I'm just like, like for fuzzy, like I would be listening to it and I'm just like, oh, right there, dog bark. He's like, why? I'm like, just trust me, dude. And like right there, we need to like click these forks together or like, Hey, I really just need like a swelling noise. So when you hear the verse, it's just like. Like, like all the backing stuff, it's straight up just like, huh, woof, yeah, right, dude. Like, you know what I mean? It's just like the crazy, and there's like pipes and clanking and stuff. It's just something that like, like, <clears throat> I don't know. Like, I, I listen to a song. I'm like, oh, you know what that needs is like that tubey noise from like that toy in the 90s. It's just like a, like when I'm working on stuff, it's really not like. Like conceptually, I'm thinking very, very like I'm. I try and it's it's a very intricate process, but sonically, it's kind of and like when when a lot of it's being like written, it's it's kind of stream of conscious, and I hope that doesn't sound pretentious, but it's like kind of stream of conscious, and like I just sort of do what feels right. And that's why I can't work with like a lot of people at once mm-hmm. because, uh. Every, like whenever there's like a group of people and everyone's like, I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. What about this? What if we tried this? Let's take 10 minutes to go down this rabbit hole. Let's, I'm just like, ah, uh, like it just, it doesn't let me just like, I just need to be able to like run, you know? Yeah. And that's like, that's like how things happen because if you stop and think about it, like you're like, I don't know. A lot of the ideas aren't stop and think ideas. It's just like, Hey, that. Got it. Making in making the record, like I, I feel like it's kind of it, you, you kind of there's everything there's uh, like electronic music, there's hip hop, there's obviously pop punk. Um, I guess what were you listening to um, that maybe influenced the record? That's hard. Um, honestly, I think one thing is like I try not to listen to a lot of bands especially like during an album time or like if I'm like, you know, working on something because I already like naturally I like grew up with like MTV and like alternative music and like, you know, I mean, I started with like Beach Boys, Van Halen, all that stuff. And then heard like some 41, Good Charlotte, uh, Blink, Green Day. So all of those things are absolutely going to bleed over. They're just going to. Um, and so I try not to, like, I don't know, I try not to indulge in the past way too much while I'm working on stuff. So, usually it'll be, like, soundtracks or, like, <coughs> or like video game things or, um, or I don't know, like, like, like with, with or, like, I'll, I'll picture, like, a scene in a movie and be like, oh, man, that'd be cool to do this. Or just, like, I don't know, it's... It's kind of about 
it's more about like the concept and like the idea rather than like okay which chords and like let's let's fill it with words really qu- like you know what I'm, i I, I wish I could explain this better. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I get it. I mean, it's like also it's hard to explain a creative process sometimes when it's very like it's it's just so much in your head, too. Right. Or like, OK, like I, I know I used to hear like especially like like, you know, 2015, 2016 when we were doing uh, or not 2015, I'm sorry, um, like 2016, 2017 when we'd be doing like you know, warped type stuff or like random festivals or South by. And this is kind of like an anti-influence actually, (laughs) but I would hear a chorus and afterwards I'd be like, I have no idea what just happened. I don't know anything that he said. I don't know. Like, like I can't remember anything about that. And I was just like, oof. And like what that feels like to me is they like found some chords that sound kind of nice. You know what I'm, I'm not saying objectively. It's not like, pleasing but it's just kind of like filling the space and it's not about like like an idea or like like it's it's not like a like a there's not like a central idea to it and so I'm always like very aware of what not to do you know what I mean so like like I'll make something and then afterwards be like is this like vague and if it is I'm like all right fuck this we're rewriting it (laughs) uh or like like, you know, you'll play it for people. Like, I've got, like, a handful of friends that I'm just like, hey, check it. And if I get, like, flame emojis, I'm like, oh, this song sucks. And if people are like, oh, my God, blah, 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 I'm like, there it is. Okay, cool. <laughs> got it. That's, like, a gauge for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, like, as I was saying before, um, like, there's a lot of references to mental health on the record, like, particularly on, like, Just Kidding, Paranoid numb Mm. um and and like in particular on just kidding like people who deal with mental health often use humor to like mask what they're feeling um i guess was that how i guess like is that something you often do and and was that a hard song to write um for the first part of that question I think I probably mask things with humor sometimes. I mean, I definitely did it in that song. Um, But um, as far as being difficult to write, it's not because, again, like when I'm writing, I'm not really thinking like that. I'm just like, like, because if I think about like other people hearing it while I'm writing, I probably wouldn't write like a third of the things that I do. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, I have to... Basically, either pretend I'm writing for somebody else or I'm just writing a song for, like, practice. And then eventually I'm like, oh, my God, some of these songs are really good. And so if a song is hard to write, honestly, like, and this this sounds bad, but I promise it's not. Um, If a song is hard to write, I just don't write it. Like, and I I don't mean that in a way of, like, oh, this is, like, too close to home. I mean, like, if, if a song doesn't just, like, flow out and it doesn't feel very honest and like authentic and like clear to me I'm not gonna like try and force it because any songs that I've like spent way too long on and like felt like I was like pushing really hard for like those ones don't wind up being my favorites in the end my favorite ones are the ones where I'm like oh yeah honestly like I just zoned out and then like like it was just done you know what it like the 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 best ones come to you clearly and easily in my in my experience and so so for just kidding yeah like i i was just in the studio i had some pieces of the verses like a few lines and stuff from like a uh from an older demo and (laughs) i was like i know i want to use this and then i i i had that hook idea with like the uh when i laid down the guitars i was like I was, like, really into, uh, I remember when I first was, like, putting down stuff for this album, I was, like, I need to, like, switch up some chords. And so um, I actually kind of started to forget about that song because, again, there were just so many. It's not like a I don't care about this kind of thing. It's just when you're working on, like, four others at once and then you're, like, more focused on and, like, months and months go by. But my friend Dwayne 
was like, look, man, like I played him everything and he was like, fuck, this album's going to be crazy, blah, 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 blah. He's like, as long as Just Kidding is on it, it's going to be incredible. And I was like, oh, yeah, weird. Okay. And then he sent a SoundCloud, like a private SoundCloud thing to, uh, to my friend Mikey. And there was like three songs that he picked out that he was like geeking out over. And one of them was Just Kidding. And I was like, damn, like maybe, maybe I do need to revisit this. And uh, oh my God, I'm totally just rambling about this song now. I'm sorry. Um, no, you're fine. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, no, I, I rechecked it out and I was like, you know what? Like secret life of me can't really exist without this song because conceptually, like they're supposed to go together. They're like a pair. And I was like, like, that's, that's, that's kind of what solidified. It was like friends being just all about it. Then me revisiting and like upping the production, like adding more spooky guitars. Like, dude, I got this keyboard on there that sounds like, sounds like, like haunted windshield wipers. <laughs> <laughs> and I, um, so like I played it on there, like the way that it should be. And then I played it in, like, this is going to sound stupid, but like I played it like in reverse, like the progression in reverse. And then I dragged it into the other program and then reversed the reverse. So it was like in the right order, like the chords and everything. But it like gave it this like creepy haunted feel because like, it was just like this like reverse like kind of like delayed out sort of lo-fi like layer and it just made it sound so much creepier and i loved uh, i I was just like fuck like so getting to go in and do more production on it like that like really sold it for me you know no i mean that's that's really cool that you were able to add that in um so i i feel like another underlying theme on the record is kind of your relationship with fame um how has that changed and how have you been able to adapt to that um since your debut record and over the past like five plus years oh man um (laughs) these questions are really good it's just hard to pick a starting (laughs) point um sorry (laughs) no 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 no. it's totally good um when i when i wrote double dare i was still at my parents' place in Houston. Nobody even knew we were signed yet. (laughs) Like, um, I think, let me see. Yeah, because we we got signed, like, on the down low in 2015. And we, it's funny, because, like, you know, we got home from, like, California, where we had, like, met Benji and Joel, and we had signed our deal. And, you know, we were working on the EP cluster and all this stuff, but we just couldn't talk about it yet and so we're still like outside of shows promoting like hey please check this out blah 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 here's a flyer here's a demo (laughs) um and it was it it was just like such an odd thing to go from like being out in california like we'd never left texas we're just like dumb texas dudes like oh okay (laughs) um and and then like coming out here and then going back home again it was just like this weird surreal whiplash you know because like i think it's it's also kind of easy to forget, I think, when you see people like doing like bigger things, like like I just did like that V Man <laughs> cover thing, and mm-hmm. it's probably really easy for someone to look at that and and like kind of forget, like if you're like if if someone listening right now is like at home and like they make music and shit, like literally I was I was doing that and I'm still just doing that (laughs) and it's such (laughs) like an odd thing because it's like I don't know like the process is still the same and it's just I don't know it's (sighs) there's so many directions I keep wanting to take this and my brain is like pulling me in different directions (laughs) um like it's 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 just such a weird thing because everything that I'm doing is the same like the amount of work that I'm putting in is the same it's just different work and now like people happen to know it it's just like i don't know it's really weird but um yeah and then nothing (laughs) nothing can prepare you for like like a lot of people finding you it's just odd and i'm not even like i'm not even like superstar type shit like like i'm not even like close to that and i still have to deal with weird shit (laughs) you know what i mean i'm like yeah. I'm like, I'm like, dude, if I'm going to have like people following me and shit, 
Like, again, I at least need a boat. Give me one <laughs> boat. <laughs> I'm like, give me one boat, dude. Because sometimes, and the thing is, I know this isn't the case, at least anymore. But I'm like, man, I feel like I'm only getting, like, the shitty parts of this. Where, <laughs> where you're like, oh, yeah, like, a lot of people know about you. A lot of people get mad at you very quickly, and you're getting followed, and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, man, what the fuck? But... And then I was like still living like in the first few times that happened, like I was still in Houston too. I'm like, dude, I have no money. I live with my parents. Why are you following me? Um, <laughs> but uh, oh my God. I mean, at, least, at least now I get to like, I mean, I have my own place that I really like. I get to drive a car that I like. Uh, I get to be creative all day. I mean, well, unless I'm signing posters, which I'm also doing half the time. But <laughs> um, no, I mean, so at least at least there's that now. You know what I mean? Like, there's not, there's not like that pressure of, like, my parents or parents' friends aren't like, so, uh, when are you going back to college? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm not getting that anymore. And I really do like that because now I can focus better. Um, cause, but you know, before there's like this looming thing of like, ah, I'll go, just fucking leave me alone, please. <laughs> um, and what? yeah, now there's, now that's gone. So that's good. No, I mean, that it definitely is a give and take with fame. And, yeah, I mean, we just got to get you this boat after this record. Like Seriously, this- like, talk to, talk to 300. I need a boat. <laughs> like, it can be called the 300. Like, that's fine. <laughs> or it could be, like, a timeshare thing in the meantime. Or, I you know? guess. I guess. I just don't want anyone to touch my stuff. <laughs> For sure. Um. One of the other, I, I have a couple more questions and then like, we'll open it up to fan um, questions. But cool. I, I also wanted to talk about like, there are definitely some like dream and sleep references on the record. Like, yeah. um, what was kind of the significance of that? So the general concept for this album is I wanted it to... It takes place after fandom. I wanted it to take place over the course of a night. Mm -hmm. And so that's why you're going to catch a lot of that. But like greatest hits is um, um, like, I, you know, I told you I I walk around just recording sounds all day. But um, (laughs) the we were in New York for when fandom was about to drop. And so all those sounds that you're hearing, like at the beginning, that was like fandom release day, like the birth of fandom. You know what I mean? I was just like in a, I was in an Uber. We were in traffic and I just had my phone out the window getting that. And then um, shortly after we were home, it was actually raining in LA, which never does. And uh, I walked around my complex just recording those sounds, like the rain sounds and everything. And mm-hmm. so it was kind of like the birth of fandom and then like the end and like the next chapter like merged at the beginning and um, there's, there's like, you know, the, the clock ticks that are on there, like from the end of fandom, same, like, you know, the 15 for the 15 songs. And when it gets to the end and I sing that opening line, like last night I had the strangest dream of all, that's when like time is like slowed down and like stretched. You know, when you're falling asleep, like, it, like time, it gets like, it gets warped a little bit as you know, like when you listen to music, when you're falling asleep. If you listen to the song, everything is faster. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of like that. And like when it gets into, when it gets in, like actually into the song, that's like when it's all beginning and fuzzy, like with the opening lines and everything, that's um, um, like where like the, the, the night kind of begins. And I re- I'm like, you know, by the end, like ice bath is like the wake up point. See you in the future is like back to real life, but it's just like it's it's almost like like more insane than the rest of the album. Everything is meant to take place like every night almost. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so see you in the future. It's there's there's a couple meanings behind it. Um, like there's like the the easiest one is like see you tomorrow night kind of thing because again it's it's cyclical. And the other one, there's a lot of references to, like, multiple versions of yourself on the album. Like, especially, like, 
I mean, in a few, like, you know, like uh, Secret Life or Magnetic. Magnetic is, like, about the, like, the version of you that you, like, put forward, like, the, the ego version of you. And then also, like, not letting it take over and, like, turn on you and, like, become who you are and stuff like that. It's, like, that balance. And, but it's also, like, it exists to protect you. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's why that version is there. And so it, See You in the Future is also kind of, like, to myself, like a see you when it's safe kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, like, I... see, you, see you in the future, like when you can come out, like, and like, like just exist and not be like looking over your shoulder all the time. That's really cool. Um, so, yeah, I just have like one or two more questions. And then uh, I, I definitely like think a lot of fans have questions. Do um... they? <laughs> I want to shout out. Here we go. I'm going to read these names. I'm going to shout out Cam. I'm going to shout out Kelly. I'm going to shout out Lily. I'm going to shout out Mel. I'm going to shout out Sarah. I'm going to shout out Kylie. I'm going to shout out Zai. I'm going to shout out (laughs) Seema. I'm going to shout out... This one cuts off. It's like Haru something. I'm going to shout out Bray. I'm going to shout out Camilla. I'll stop now. (laughs) Um, Well, one question I have, because I mean like you've just incorporated so many genres into your music. Yes. Who is like, who are your dream? Who's your dream collaboration? Huh? Oh, I, I hate saying this answer because it sounds negative. It's gen. It's really not. It's more of like a neutral thing, but I kind of don't know if I want anyone else that I really like to know that I exist because then I've like the possibility exists of me letting them down where if somebody like, Donald Glover never knows that I exist. Like he'll never think there's the possibility is just 0% that he'll ever think that I suck because if he thought that I suck, then my life would be over. I understand that. (laughs) (laughs) But, but okay, I'll pick an answer though. Hang on, hang on. Um, (laughs) uh, fuck me. This is hard. Um, Hmm. How many do I get to choose? How about top three? Top three. Okay. <sighs> mm. And you know what? Actually, I'm gonna open up. I'm gonna open up my iTunes. This will help me. Because I don't want to answer wrong. I don't want to be like, you know what? I should have said. <laughs> uh, I'll be thinking about this later, trying to fall asleep. Um. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, you know, I really like Chance the Rapper. He makes me feel very good. I think it would be fun mm-hmm. to have him on a song. Um, I would like to collab with... Oh, Justin Bieber. I want a, I want a song with Justin Bieber. I... Uh, let's see. I want a song with... Oh my god, this is hard, especially only choosing one more. Um I think it'd be so cool to make a song with Bad Sons. Um I'm gonna have to choose a couple more, I'm sorry. Yeah, um, go for it. I don't know if I don't know if you would fuck with us or not, but it'd be so cool to make a song with Tyler the Creator. Is is synths and everything are just so fucking pretty. Dude, honestly, if we extended fruit roll ups and like had that outro going. He could put down such a fucking good verse on it. Like <laughs> I, I can kind of hear what he would do in my head. I've had this thought before, but like, if we like extended that and just like had him on like another version, I would be so stoked. Um, I think it'd be fun to get in a room with Charlie Puth, but he's just like I feel like with his perfect pitch, he would just not like me because <laughs> my voice is imperfect. Um. I feel Let's like see. this is the opportunity, like to put the like manifest the Tyler You're right. fruit roll up moment. Tyler, if you hear <laughs> this, what's good? Um, I think that would be very very dope. Um, if not, it's fine. I promise. I understand. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well. 
I think like I want to oh, if you're down like open it up to some fan questions. Um, open the floodgates. Open the floodgates. Um and also if anyone here hasn't yet read the V-Man cover that Maria Sherman wrote, she's amazing and you should read it. <laughs> Shout out Maria. Yes. Shout out Maria. Mm-hmm. Um cool. I'm going to uh choose somebody. Do it. Pick a good one. Mm, okay. Okay, I just picked Autumn. Autumn? Wait, I know Autumn. What's good? Autumn? I think you put the wrong person on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, what's your name? Alina's. Alina's? Oh, sorry. Yes. What's good? How are you doing? I'm good. I can ask my question if you want, yeah, do or it. do you want me? No, do, do it. Do it. Go for it. Uh, oh, well, yeah. Next. Oh, well, this was going back to what um, you guys were talking about earlier with uh, just Austin uh, recording the sounds. I was just going to ask what your like favorite sound on the album was, like just one of the sounds in the song. Ooh, okay, I can tell you. As far you mean as far as like the ones I recorded, like just outside somewhere? Yeah. Okay. It's the birds and crying over it all. And I'll tell you why. Because I for a while I was using fake birds, or not fake birds, but like somebody else's recording that I just like found online. Because I just kept not hearing birds. And I was like walking around looking for some and they just like I couldn't find them. And I was like, <laughs> why is this happening? And then one morning I was getting coffee and I was walking around this neighborhood a little bit. Sometimes I take a detour back to my car because, you know, get your steps in. It's all good. Um, and suddenly I was like, wait, birds. And, <laughs> and it was such a fucking relief. because I was like, finally, I thought I was going to have to like travel somewhere like country or whatever. But <laughs> I just had my phone up for a good like three or four minutes just getting these bird sounds. So those ones you hear in the outro. Yeah, it was like mm-hmm. one morning and I was just like, yes, finally. I find that so funny because here I live in uh, the South in Georgia and like you hear the birds every morning. (laughs) You got birds for sure. (laughs) You're out in Georgia. Georgia's got birds for real. (laughs) Awesome. Thank you for the question. All right. Going to try you again, Autumn. (laughs) We're just going to keep getting other people. (laughs) Autumn's going to be like, God damn it. Hello. Wait, oh my god, hi. Hi. Yo. Uh, How's okay, it going? So, it's so good. Oh my god. I didn't even know that you, like, recognized me. Okay, hold on. Let me get my question. What? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm doing promo right now, so it's, like, kind of hard. Um, Let's okay. go. Yeah, I saw you doing that stuff, and I was like, hell fucking yeah. Because, like, I've done that for, like, bit. Like when I when I was, like, maybe, like, 15 or some shit. Oh, I was yeah. putting up bands posters before just because I Dude, loved no. them. And I was like, fuck it. I was like sticking them on mailboxes and stuff. Like, yeah, no, so when I, I saw that, them. I was stoked. Oh my God, there's a wasp. I'm sorry. Um, I got loyalty cards, right? Because I like, I remembered your tweet. And um, <laughs> I don't know. Wait, what? what? <laughs> yeah, loyalty cards. What does that mean? Like, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Uh, um, basically, they're like cards that you get at businesses. It's like, have you like bought 10 shirts from us? You get a free shirt. So it's like, have you seen oh, yeah, the greatest yeah. hits today? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, I like that. Everybody them. needs to get a greatest hits card, and, if y'all want and yeah, one, punch in me. every I day. Have wait, three hundred and fifty, dude. Um. Oh my okay. god. Okay, wait. So, so what do they win once the card is full? A better life. A better life. I like that. Yo, if you guys want a better life, stream greatest hits every day, and don't forget your punch card. <laughs> don't forget your punch card okay um i'm sorry I'm, i don't want to like take up too much time let me no ask. you're good you're good um hey thank you very much for the the promo and everything dude of course thank you for the note in the package that was the sweetest thing in the world oh my yeah God. of course okay um oh yeah okay i've been asking a what i've i've been wanting to ask this one for a while um it was yeah. now that the album is out was there any other secret website you had up that we never found yes and i'm gonna leave it at that <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah cool thanks you are welcome be safe yeah you too thank you bye yeah. oh. bye oh 
That's an interesting answer. Yeah. Is it still up? It should be. Um, thing is, sometimes I just, like, put teasers or, like, you know, like, random things or, like, demos or clips or whatever on stuff. I drop a couple hints, and then I just move on because I'm like, well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's cool. I hope someone finds it. Me too. Um, Actually, they I, I made this YouTube channel where I put, uh, like, a demo of a thing and then, like, this other, like, cover thing that we did. And it was, like, it was up there for, like, four months. And finally, somebody asked a question like that. And I was like, yeah, there's a YouTube. And then they found it in, like, ten seconds. Wow. Yeah. Um, cool. Let me go to the next person. Okay. Who's um, next? Okay. Sophia? Sophia. Sophia. Holy Green. shit. <laughs> oh, my, oh my god this is what the hell I <laughs> hey this is a christian channel you can't say that oh, i'm sorry I i'm kidding had, <laughs> i had no faith in being chosen so i like oh my god <laughs> you know what i'll ask you a question how's it going oh oh i'm fantastic i got Good. up at seven in the morning to listen to greatest hits it was amazing Ooh. at seven in the morning <laughs> it was still good yeah, Damn. I was like half asleep, and it just felt so surreal. <laughs> it was like a oh my god, listening to listening to Secret Life while you're like asleep sounds fun. Yeah, it was insane. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm, this is like what the hell? Okay, um, I don't have like a serious question. Can I ask you like That's a fine. joke question? Of course you can. <laughs> um, do you like the song "Astronaut in the Ocean"? <laughs> I fucking love that song, and I think. <laughs> When people put it over our songs, it just makes our songs even better. So please keep doing it. Well, I will. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's great. Thank you. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I love you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for listening and, um, and yeah, everything. Oh, you're welcome. I will continue to do that. Me too. <laughs> We got we got something in common. Let's fucking go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bye. 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 All right. Alex Blender. You're up. Alex Blender. That's a famous oh, ooh, name. I accidentally picked somebody else, so he's That's going okay, bring him in. Or they are going to be next. All right, who we got? Shelves. Oh my Shelves. god. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Is your I'm, name Shelbs or Shelby? What do you prefer? Shelby. My name is Shelby. I just have it as Shelbs. I understand. Yeah. Um, I put my oh name my as Danny. And that's not my name. <laughs> Danny Fandom. Danny yep. Phantom. I'm. Um. Oh my God. I'm. <laughs> this is. I'm. This is not real. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Album. I really um, appreciate you hearing it. <laughs> Um, okay, I have a joke question too, but I think it's very pressing. Cheese okay. or no cheese? Well, on what though? Like anything. I mean, uh, I put it on a lot of things. Like, uh, okay, on burgers, people don't like it on burgers. Right. I don't know. I, I like so it. So I've never, I'm going to tell you something. I've had like a normal burger, but I've never had a cheeseburger before, like a burger with cheese on it. What? Yeah, I've also never had ketchup or mustard uh, or, like, mayonnaise or, like, relish. I hate pickles. I I kind of, like, uh, one time, one time, uh, like, when I was, like, way younger, like, I think ninth grade or something, there was this girl that I liked, and then she was eating a pickle at the movies, and I stopped liking her. I was like, that smell is just awful. <gasps> Um, I know, not cool of me at oh all. Oh my um, god! I got scared. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's okay. So I, anyway, not had a cheeseburger. Um, now I could. I mean, I fuck up pizza. I make like the craziest grilled cheese. Um, but as far as oh, and I also I put it in eggs too. Um, but everything else, yeah, I don't really. I don't like. I don't do queso. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Like so, do you like like quesadillas though and stuff. Uh, I don't really eat them. I'm like kind of a fuck up. <laughs> I like I've I've kind of picked everything that I like. 
And now if I'm feeling super adventurous, I'll have something weird that I like can't pronounce. Uh-huh. Like if we're like, you know, if like we go somewhere and they're like, this is whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm like, yeah, give me that. <laughs> but <laughs> like for something like a quesadilla, I'm kind of like, eh, I think I've had an experience with it probably. It just didn't stick out to me. So quesadillas aren't part of my life anymore. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you got to go above and beyond. I mean, I don't know. I just kind of like love to put cheese on a lot of things, like everything I eat, uh-huh. mo- like whatever I can fit it on. I like I put it there. I, what I about just, like a waffle? Would you put it on a waffle? A waffle? Yep. I think it would have to be like a plain waffle. I wouldn't put it on like with like a syrup and butter. I, I would probably try that, though. OK, wait, I feel would like you maybe put it? it would, what about like cereal? Cereal? Yeah. Like, would you melt um, cheese and put it in cereal? I mean, it depends on which cereal. Like, if it was Lucky Charms, that would not, that would not work. But what maybe, work? like, if you had, I feel like maybe, um, if you had like a cornflake or something. Oh. <laughs> I feel like no. I feel like that that could, it could work. Oh. Look, it, I respect you. It would you. be I just weird, don't maybe. Agree. Mm. I I don't know. I feel like on cert like on certain things you could, like, if you experiment enough, maybe it would oh. be good. You could discover something new. Like somebody had to try cheese first. Yeah. And <laughs> which is like such a gross idea. Someone was just like, oh, it's like that it's it's like milk but old. Yeah, I'll eat that. <laughs> like, so I mean, I guess go forth, go where no person has gone before. Maybe you'll invent a new kind of food. You can open up like a like a very specific restaurant. There's a lot of those in LA where it's like this is a place that does burgers, but it's only on donuts or whatever. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Of course. Thank you. And good luck on your yeah. cheese adventures. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> All right, Alex, I'm trying you again. Alex? Talk to me, Alex. What's good? What's going on? <laughs> okay. First, I want to explain the blender part. Explain the blender part? What does that mean? The part of my name, the like blender thing. <laughs> oh, is, is that not your last name? No. <laughs> um, so I'm in John's Twitch streams a lot, and that is my Twitch name. Okay. okay. <laughs> that is all I, that I, is. I, oh, I see, I see. Okay. John John's a good person. Tell him tell him I said hi. Actually, he's about to drive me somewhere after this. After this thing is done, so he's he's very nice. He's on my good side today. Today, <laughs> yeah. Some days, some days I'm like, "Fuck you, John." <laughs> so, okay, my question is: Okay, I've been pl- like playing greatest hits like on repeat on my Spotify, but I've not listened to it yet because what? <laughs> because hear me out on this. I want to have that in the hell. Listen, I want to have that same satisfaction right, I did with fandom. I didn't get to last night. I want to have my room completely dark, okay. earbuds in, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Okay, you know what? I, I'm sorry for, for, <laughs> for being loud. Um, I think you're right. I think when you listen to it for the first time, you need to be alone, get some cool lights going. In the dark, Like I always just like music better if I'm listening alone. And, and also in the dark because yes. the lights look better and... You're just not distracted. Like, get off your phone. Like, don't be tweeting or, like, like texting people or whatever because you're going to miss things. I promise you there are so many details in there. And you, you will listen to this album 20 times and find something new every time. So yeah. you're doing it right. And I'm sorry for being loud. <laughs> I remember the first time I heard War Crimes when I was doing that. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> Dude, that one, I was so excited about that. Like... Um, especially like once we got like the the keyboards in there, like the like the I was just like, yup, there it is, dude. That shit's gonna just fuck everyone up live. So my question was, um, is there any songs that you think just absolutely gonna wreck my emotions? Yes. Oh god. Do you want me to say what they are, or do you want to just go into it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Which one? I don't, I don't want to disrespect your experience. Okay. Um, the one that gets me every time is Crying Over It All. Oh, gosh. That one gets me <laughs> every time. Like, every time. Like, so when people were, like, tripping about, uh, 
uh, like Paranoid, I was like, oh man, like that one doesn't even like, that one doesn't even like come on my radar as like, ow, my feet, like, like my heart. So I was like, oh shit, when I hear that one, game over. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to say that one. I'm so excited to listen to it then tonight. And I, I do see like, I'm mutuals. excited for you to hear it. I see mutuals in here. Um, if I message you crying, just ignore it. <laughs> okay. I can ignore that. <laughs> Dude, I never look at Twitter messages. I, I'll check Instagram ones sometimes, but Twitter ones, pretty much never. There's there's sometimes I'll be like in a group chat with my mutuals and I'm be like, yo, I listened to this song and I'm like messed up. Like uh, Dream's new song. I cried. <laughs> really? I haven't heard it. I mean, Except for when I wrote it and, like, recorded it. <laughs> I haven't listened to it since. It's so good. <laughs> but Thanks. <laughs> that was all I had for you. Okay. Well, good luck Thank with your you. listen. And good luck with your group chats. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> awesome. I have an in-between question. Ooh, um, tell me somebody it. Somebody tweeted. Are there any hidden songs? What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know any like hidden songs or bonus tracks coming i don't really believe in that which i know sounds stupid but like to me when you have an album like that's it like and also it's fucking greatest hits being like here's the b-side of greatest hits i'm like no motherfucker like everything on greatest hits is the greatest hit so i wouldn't do b-sides because it just doesn't make sense to me conceptually. But I would do an extended version. Because I would definitely... Like, I love some of the remixes we've been getting that aren't out yet. And um, I really want to put out some instrumentals. Because, like, like as much as I love all the lyrics and, like, everything... Oh, my God. These instruments... Like, I was listening to them in the car the other day. And I was like, fuck. Like, I even forgot some of the stuff that we did. Like... Like, like certain synth noises or just like random things or whatever. Like I want to, like I would do an extended version with like, like continuations of the songs or like alt versions, but I don't think I would actually throw in like different songs. Cause like, I don't know. I, I just, you don't see like the best people of all time doing that kind of thing. I get that. Does that make sense? Figure that out. Like, like <laughs> totally. you're, you're not going to see like, like the people that are like I mean I guess if they're like pop people and they're kind of like playing the game or whatever but I mean as far as people that I really consider like like in in the least like commerce way like people that I really consider like artist artists like they make a piece of work and that's it mm. you know I get that um so I think we have time for like one or two more fan questions um, let's do two Let's do two. Um, Seema, I hope I'm saying your name correctly. I'm approving you. Hi. Yo, how's it going? Hello. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Hello, I'm talking oh. to you at work, so I probably shouldn't be here. Well, but... where do you work? <laughs> um, I, I'm a digital producer at the Toronto Star. It's a newspaper in Canada. Ooh, what are you writing about? Um, I don't really write. I so much. I more like make other people's stuff look good um oh, okay so, it so looks, what's looks, going on in canada um you know it's it's not great it's covid stuff it's not very interesting lit <laughs> we're hockey news um we're very stereotypical here <laughs> you're like it's hockey and covid and cold i'm like also, oh, okay i also stayed up for like from like midnight to like six in the morning listening to the album on like repeat, oh my god so. thank you for doing that I mean, I, i'm sorry if you're like really tired it's okay. My shift started at four, so I've only been like awake for like two hours. But it's so good. Like it's amazing. Thank you. Um, um, it's it's really weird when like you work on something for like over a year, and then people finally get to hear it. And technically, you're like, like some people are like done experiencing it after forty seven minutes. It's like yeah. so odd. You know what I mean? Like, but yeah, it like but, flew by too. It didn't feel like it didn't feel like seventeen songs or. 47 minutes i like thank you feel like i blinked and it was like done and i was like okay well i have to hit play again <laughs> <laughs> see i was a little like we or we had the conversations of like is this too many songs but i um uh, 
there was one evening where I was just going through looking at the links of like a bunch of other like very big and good albums. Right. Mm -hmm. And there was like a handful of them that were like an hour or like 55 minutes or whatever. And I was like, Oh, you know, I think even though there's like more tracks on here, I think run time wise, like we're fine. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think it, it really works. Yeah. Thank Not that you. I'm like an expert or anything. No, no. I mean, I, I do mean, have an actual question though, if that's cool. Ask me it. <laughs> um, sorry if you guys already talked about this. I kind of, because I have to start work. I, I missed no, you're good, you're the good. beginning of this, but uh, I was curious about the album art. Like I, I love album art and yeah. I consistently love the album art you guys have put out. Um, Thank and you. So, like on the previous three albums, it was very much like, like artwork and less so like you, you guys. And, yes. and I was just kind of wondering what, like, what made you want to change that for this album? And like, if I guess like the way I get the, 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 the photo on the cover and the, the theme of greatest hits kind of tie into each other. And just like, if you want to like talk about the album art a bit, cause I'm yeah, definitely about that stuff. Also, how funny would it be if there was just no answer? I was just like, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, don't photo drop it. Yeah. Um, no, no, no. But so I actually like during the demoing process and like through the whole year, I would always be making different like mock-up album art things, just seeing like what looked right, what felt right, all this stuff. And it was just, I don't know, like nothing ever fully landed for me. And then I, I like, you know, we always try and like work in certain color palettes into the cycles. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and so for this one, I knew it was red, blue, and yellow, like primary. Um, and I was like, I had the thought, especially because, it's called Greatest Hits. And yeah, we've avoided this kind of thing before. But I called Otto and I was like, hey, I have this idea. If you hate it, all good. Won't do it. But since this is literally called Greatest Hits, like what if we were on the cover, like on like normal Greatest Hits albums? You know what I mean? Like everybody's always on the cover for their Greatest Hits. Mm -hmm. And that way we could also control the color scheme easier. Because... I was like, look, we wear all yellow. We'll shoot it. Like, we shot it on, like, a very tall building, like, on the roof. <laughs> and so I was like, we'll get, we'll get the yellow in there. We'll get the blue in there. And then for the actual shading, though, like, no black shadows. Like, you know, where there'd be, like, whatever, mm -hmm. like, on the clothes, on, like, the ripples and, like, folds and stuff. I was like, anywhere where there's going to be, like, black, just make that, like, not pure red because that would look really ugly. <laughs> but like really close that's a that's another thing like working working in like the with like within the realm of like the primary colors mm -hmm. it's so like you have to be careful because if you just go straight red blue yellow it's straight up clown town like it looks awful <laughs> yeah. so you've got to do like different shades and different tints and whatever like um so that's that was like the idea behind it was like you know what like everybody's always on their greatest hits put us on there also we'll be able to control the color palette easier and this is how we'll do it and the whole like there's there's no like the name's not on it the the album title's not on like nothing is like i i tried up so many different like placements for those things on my computer but nothing felt right and then when i like muted the layers i was just like oh shit <laughs> and i would and so you know i'd send like different versions and drafts to a couple people and everybody was just like oh my god that's really strong i was like i think so too <laughs> you know what i mean and like yeah another another aspect not that this is the most important it's just an aspect of it i was like also if we're like like people are like afraid to go anywhere right now like i'm also not concerned about like stores because sometimes stores like are really weird about that like you can't really get away with it unless you're like I don't know, like post Malone level or some shit. We're <laughs> like, you don't have to have any text on your cover. Mm -hmm. Like we've, we've, we had some issues before where people were like, yeah, the name's not big enough or whatever. That's just weird shit. And you're like, what? Like yeah. you can't just tell people to change their album art. Cause you're fucking little store. Like, I mean, I shouldn't call it a little store. Never mind. Um, <laughs> and um, I'm just being petty. Um, but I was like, look, no one's going to fucking stores right now. Anyway, like this would just be like another aspect of it is like, we don't have to put a name on it because I feel like most people are going to be ordering it 
from us, from the label, from record stores, like independent things, Mm -hmm. or just streaming it. So I was like, if we were to ever do like some like hard shit like that, like no band name, no album name, I think now's the time. For sure. It just felt strong. I looked at it. I was like that right there. I see a platinum record next to that shit right there. (laughs) Yeah. And speaking of the not going places, I got into parks on May 15th, 2020, to be honest with you. Like I know the exact date. So it's been a, it's been, it's been quite a year, but having your music has been so helpful in helping me get through that year. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. That's so nice. Yeah. I, uh, it's really weird. Like, like I was surprised by the amount of people that found us in that time, considering I wasn't like posting. <laughs> mm-hmm. It was, I'll be honest. It was my Spotify um, daily mix. It was like every once really? in a while. Really? Yeah. It would like, like I had like all the music I would listen to regularly. And then every once in a while it would put stupid for you or um, I miss having sex into the uh-huh. rotation. And I was like, Oh, these songs are really good. And then I was like, I'm going to listen to all of the albums. And- thank you. Spotify. Love that. <laughs> Yeah, so here I am. So thank you so much. Um, I'll stop taking up all the time, but thank you. <laughs> yeah, of course. Good luck. Good luck at work. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Um, so the, I think the last person we're I, I'm gonna choose is Cooper. So I'm proving Cooper. you now. Wait, I know Cooper too. Bring Cooper in here. Okay. Hey, Jeff is listening. <laughs> Cooper? Hello? Yo! Hey! Okay, sorry, I'm at my job right now, and no one's been here for, like, the past hour, and if someone pulls up while this is happening, I'm gonna start throwing shit. No! <laughs> Just, like, put put them on the phone. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, oh, so what's up? Um, I actually just, p- I, I washed my sheets, because I'm, I'm not like other boys, and, um, I just put those... On my bed, I folded some towels. I, uh, oh, I'm honestly, I'm walking around. I'm taking care of shit. Like, like this is a this is a productive day. I'm, and I know uh, after this, we're gonna go do album things. I think the guys are. I think the guys are eating right now. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, just kind of hanging. What? Um, where do you work? Or, I mean, don't say like the address or whatever. But, like, what um, do you do? I'll give you a hint. You sent me fifty dollars like two weeks ago. Oh yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. I okay, I remember now. I remember now. Never mind. Um Yeah, that's crazy. Um Um well, I'm glad no one's in there. Like oh, kind of Thank chill. you. Yeah. Um I work the slow shift so no one like comes in at all. But um Oh, I'm supposed to have a question, I think. Yes. Okay. Um All right. So, uh since we're supposed to be doing like the promo and stuff or like you know, like blowing up your songs because we're the fans. That's kind of the dynamic we've got going on. Uh, hey. What do you want to blow up on TikTok? Give us a couple tracks. We'll do what we can. Some Ooh. of them have clout. Okay. Okay. I think. Let me think. Once that would. D- Here's the thing. I also didn't predict that I miss having sex. At least I don't want to die anymore. Would be a thing. So yeah. I mean, whatever. But I also <laughs> I just didn't like. I I wasn't familiar with TikTok back then. When people were like, "It's blowing up on there," I'm like, "Uh," the, I'm like TikTok, like. That's the thing where, like, people lip sync or whatever. Like, I, I just, it was, like, right over my head. But um, yeah. now that I'm, like, aware, and I love TikTok, um, I think, I think Like It would go well. I think Fruit Roll-Ups would go well. Yeah. Um, See You in the Future would probably, like, I think there are parts of See You in the Future and parts of Like It that would go well. I think, I think Fruit Roll-Ups would go crazy on there. Yeah. Um, what else? I bet, oh, honestly... I bet the E boys are gonna like magnetic. Um, <laughs> yeah. What else? What do you think? Um. Okay. Like I, I spent like an hour today. I wrote uh, greatest hits out today on like my car, and I just drove around for like an hour. <laughs> hey. um, and uh, my own like, like, uh, like egotistical songs, like the ones that I've picked out that I'm like I'm I'm God right now. Are <laughs> um, <laughs> they're like magnetic and like it? Those are my favorites. Um. So far. Hell yeah. Oh, hi, Linda. My cook's here. Hey. She says, hey. You know the band boy? No? Okay. Well, she says <laughs> hi. <laughs> Tell her I said hey. Um, <laughs> okay. Dude, Like It and Magnetic are going to go hard live. Yeah. Dude, I'm so excited for that. Mm. Um, well, I can drive now, so I'll be at your next tour for a couple of days or so, so. Hey, let's go. 
<laughs> I'm trying to see, like, you're in you're in Georgia, right? Yeah. Okay, so I remember that because I wore the camo. Yeah. At that. So it was like <laughs> I bought like a full on camo suit. Um, wait. So if I close out of Twitter right now, like if I leave the window, will it like will it boot me? As long as you don't close the window, like you'll still be in it. Ah, dang! I was gonna say I'll I'll open the flyer because I just made the U.S. flyer the other day. Oh, to like try if and you have the app it. open, like it can still perceive your audio as long as you don't close it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, hold on. Um, can y'all hear me right now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, let me open this. God, this flyer's dope. Um, oh yeah, we're, we're going to Atlanta. Yo, I'll see you there. Let's fucking go. <laughs> yeah, Annie Tour said Gainesville, so I was like, if you pull up in Southern Georgia, Gainesville. I think I have family in Gainesville. Oh. I just like I I don't really talk to people like that. I don't know. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm gonna dip because uh, I'm like on the clock right now. But I'll see y'all in the future. Oh. Hey. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Bye. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Awesome. Yo, throw one more person. One more person in there. All right. Um. Sorry. Who shall it? Pick a good be? one. Okay. Cam. Cam, what's up? Oh, my mic's still on. What? Hold on. It's uh, not letting me choose. No. Oh, there we go. Cam? Cam. Hello. Did that work? Hello. Yeah, yeah, hi. <laughs> hey, what's up? Holy shit. <laughs> Not much. What's up with you? Um, my my dryer just finished, so I'm about to actually run it again just to be sure. Boom. I'm like sure. always doing laundry. It's a thing. Like at my place there's it's just like constant laundry. Um, I don't even know how Sick. it works, like how that <laughs> happens, but well, okay, I know for now because the last the last week and a half I've just straight up been doing like album prep things and like oh nice just a lot of stuff so everything got kind of shitty <laughs> like i just poured out like <laughs> four or five coffees um so i'm kind of playing catch up right now but uh nice cool. oh, that works yeah nice <laughs> yeah, um, we well um i actually i'm si- i've been sitting in my car uh just listening to this because i just got home from school so Ooh. Um, yeah <laughs> dope are you yeah is it like high to, school or um, college had- or what uh yeah, high school. I'm actually on. Uh, next week will be my last week at high school. Thank God. Let's go. So excited. Congratulations. <laughs> You're so close. Yeah. You are so Thank close. Thank you. Yeah. I'm. Right. Yeah. It's been. Oh, it's been so tough because we haven't uh, been able to actually do um, like online school at all. We've been like full IRL like the entire year. It sucks. What? But, oh my God. Is yeah. Yeah. It. I don't think it should be. I'll be honest. What state are it's, you in? fucking montana <laughs> oh weird i actually i'm gonna be honest with you yeah. i have no opinion about that place because i don't remember it wait, wait a minute no, 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 no 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 i remember <laughs> we, it was the first show we ever had to miss because there was like a fucking blizzard and so we were snowed into our hotel oh, at like oh, it was like early 2016 and we got snowed in and it was like the shining oh, like God. we're all just walking around like oh jesus christ like <laughs> can't go anywhere oh, like auto's God. looking at us crazy like that's awful holy shit yeah. <laughs> yeah i really hate it here i'm planning to go hopefully towards washington so that'll be cool but nice um, i think people like washington yeah, yeah i think it'll be fun yeah. um let's see oh yeah my question so um yes. I was wondering, like, for Like It, that's honestly, if I had to choose a favorite, like, that's mine. I love it so much. But um, oh, yeah. I was just wondering, like, what, um, I guess, prompted you to, uh, like, use that soundbite from the interview with James. I thought that was really funny, and I loved that. So Like It was actually, like, an experiment song for me. Actually, I forgot, like, the origin of it. But I, oh, really? I remember I got home from a different session, and I was like, you know what? I want to challenge myself to 
like basically make a song where all the guitars were done in 10 minutes and I had to be like done. And then all the drums and like bass had to be done in another 10 minutes. And then all the lyrics had to be done. And then vocals had to be done. Like everything got 10 minutes. Like normally I could do it really like I can work quick if it's just like writing or if there's somebody else involved. But I was like, you know what? I want to, I want to see if I can do this myself and like basically like just go. And I, so I, I made like the, the skeleton for like it. Now I didn't have the chorus at the time, but uh, it was still missing the, cause I like it. Uh, but that got added after when my friend Joe was like, yeah, this song's dope. You need a chorus. I was like, the fuck are you talking about? There's a chorus. He's like, no, you, there's no chorus. And I was like, <laughs> okay. So, um, uh, <laughs> but before it got there, I, uh, I was like, you know what? Like these lyrics are like, kind of funny like sort of like they also had like some of the verses were different too but um uh they were they were like kind of like tongue-in-cheek and i was like you know what this instrumental is so distorted and hard and like 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 it's like it's like like the the drums are like very like 90s hip-hop drums and then like super blown out and then the guitars are like kind of new metally but it made it like have like a punk feel for some reason like that combo and so I was like, you know what? This instrumental is really hard. I, I think what needs to happen is I need to throw in every single cartoon sound that I can find because it'll just like be like so chaotic and like weird and could be the worst thing ever. Like next to this like hard ass <laughs> instrumental. That's why there's like, like fucking trumpets or trombones or whatever being like, <laughs> and like, there's like, <laughs> yeah. it's like boing, 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 like, like at the end, there's like a pirate going like ice cream, like, <laughs> oh my uh, gosh. like it's just like I threw like I literally found every single cartoon sound that I could, and I was like, all of them are in this fucking song. Oh, and also, oh my God. shout out to Dwayne. I forgot what the exact time is, but at one point he was like, uh... <laughs> it makes me laugh every time. At one point he's like, whoa, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, um. Anyway, so that's how Like It happened. I was like, how quick can I make a fucking song and, like, also produce it at the same time? Go. And then, like, I had it. And I was like, this goes hard. Oh, and I recorded. Oh, actually. And some of those vocals were recorded into my phone because I had left my equipment at the studio and for that day. And um, so, like, the, you deserve a couple bad hands days and i hope that your car is ac like that whole thing that was all recorded like into my phone oh damn (laughs) yeah um so that one was very like it went through a lot of different stages and i didn't even mean for it to it was honestly just like an exercise for me but it just wound up being like so hard and then oh and Otto was like freaking out he was like those drums fuck yeah (laughs) and then he came in and actually like like went in and like you know beefed it up and everything um but nice. uh yeah that's awesome sweet thanks <laughs> yeah absolutely thank you for thank you for sitting in your car and calling from montana yeah of you course go i've been get in on your driveway it honestly is freezing today and i'm very pissed about it but it's whatever <laughs> move to california like it smells like pee but it's so sunny and nice right now you know what? <laughs> Say less. I'm on my way packing my bag. But... <laughs> All right. Yo, wait. Bring bring Dave in here. I haven't talked to Dave in a second with the red hair. That'll be the last one. That'll be the last one. I promise. Um, what's their username? Uh, Dave Dave Cactus. Okay. Got it. Got it. All right. Hey, Dave. Yo, how's it going? Good, man. What are you doing? Honestly, right now I'm signing these posters because I realize there's so many more I have to do. And like, I've been doing so much other stuff that the guys actually finished before me, which never happens. Oh, my God. Yeah. Half of being in a band is just writing your name in like a weird pattern. I mean, my band isn't big enough to have that problem yet, but I totally understand. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. yet is the key word. <laughs> Hope so. Yeah. So, like, I'm coming to L.A. tomorrow. Are you going to be there? Ooh, fuck yeah. 
right on. Roll through it like what time? It starts at like noon, right? Yeah. So I'm normally very punctual. Like, like I grew up in Texas, and my parents were like very like, "You will be on time," and I'm like, "Hell yeah!" Um, but whenever I'm like lugging dudes with me, like Otto and John and whoever, uh, things take things take a little more time. So hopefully around the opening time, we'll be there. But we'll see. I'll be there at like midnight, so you know, no worries. Like after or before? Uh, well, I gotta fly out of here in like three <laughs> hours, so. Oh shit! Okay, dope. Right. Fuck yeah! Oh my god! Well, hey, be safe, please. Always, always. Dude, this event's gonna be dope. Like I saw, I saw the the mural, and I was just like, holy shit! Um, like it looks so dope. Um, Good Die Young hit me the other day. We've been like talking and stuff. They're actually gonna. I don't know. Eh, is it a surprise? Fuck it. Um, they're gonna come through. Like, so I mean, yeah, we're giving out like free merch. Like, there's like free food, but they're also giving out like free hair dye, like red, blue, and yellow. Oh, sweet, dude! It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, and then we got we got our dude Fish spinning the album. Uh, I think there's other stuff going on too. Honestly, I've been like so wrapped up in other stuff that I'm like, what's going on? Yeah, fuck yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> I mean, it sounds super cool. I'm glad that you're on a mural. I didn't know that. Yeah, it looks insane. Like, I don't know. I need to figure out who did it. But I saw a picture of it, and I was like, no fucking way. Well, you'll have to text me a picture of it, and I'll send you back the mural I'm on in Denver, which is also pretty whack. I was like, man, I'm 22 feet tall. <laughs> oh, yo, wait. Actually, yeah, I want to see that. Yeah, I'll send it to you for sure. Okay, dope. That's so cool. Um. Awesome. Well, six. Austin, still there? <laughs> yes, I am. I am right here. Um. So my last question before we wrap is: yes. How are you going to celebrate tonight? Ooh, that's so tough. Um, how do you think I should like? I'm I'm not good at this kind of thing because, like, it's really. Uh, I need to be better about it. Benji, Benji's told me I got to be better about like, like slowing down and like looking at things while they're happening because i'm pretty bad at that but um what should i do to celebrate because it like i said earlier like at least right now it kind of feels like a semi-regular day it's just like like but it also fluctuates so i mean maybe in like 20 minutes when i see the dudes i'll be like ah! <laughs> um what do you think i should do i don't know i mean it feels i don't know what it's like in la right now but I'm gonna guess it's pretty nice. So like, maybe it's very nice. I'm looking out the window. A hang in the in the a, a barbecue, like a Ooh. parking, some karaoke okay. in the park. Um, karaoke in the park. You're getting adventurous. I had to be creative this year. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dang, I've actually never done karaoke. What? Yeah, I, like, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I was really not good at singing until I just like forced myself to get better. And then we got a lot of experience touring and everything. And then I just started taking vocal lessons like a couple months ago. Um, no, straight up. And they've actually helped so much. But um, cause I was like, oh my God, like actually, yeah, this is way easier to sing like this. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, I've never... I remember a girl tried to get me to do karaoke once and I was like, eh, and I totally bitched out. Like I'm like kind of shy about that. Like in like school plays and shit, I would just like lip sync because I was like, eh, I don't want anyone next to me to hear me. I get that. I mean, yeah, I, I hope you find like a really cool way to celebrate tonight and like just enjoy. Thank you. I, uh, is it weird? Nah, never mind. I was, I was about to like, like it's not even like incriminating but like why was my go-to thought i was like could light something on fire i was like that's not <laughs> the thing that you should say <laughs> i mean i guess like no one on here will tell <laughs> so yeah <why> <laughs> hey if you tell i'm gonna cut you <laughs> um well thank you guys all for joining us um go stream greatest hits and Please. um listen to water parks and Hopefully we can all catch you on the road soon. 
Yes, absolutely. I'm trying to drop this flyer. I'm just like, as soon as they tell me I'm allowed, it's going up. Awesome. We'll we'll be on the lookout for it. Wait, are you get? Wait, where where are you from? Oh, I'm from. I live in Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Oh, okay, okay. So you're. Oh, you can't go to the thing on Saturday. Okay. Well, no, but I'll be there in spirit. <laughs> okay, perfect. That's that's second best. I'll I'll accept it. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys. Have a good night. All right. See y'all. Thank you so much. See ya. Bye. Bye.